welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be optimizing the windows 11 on a refurbished mini pc that comes with the intel i5 processor and 8 gigabyte of ram and i will not be using any kind of third party tool or any kind of software but still you will be surprised after watching the result so without any delay let's quickly get started And before starting guys, make sure that if this video help you out, then please hit the like, subscribe as it will not cost you anything but will surely help my channel to bring more valuable videos for you. And you can also join my membership where you can live chat with me to fix any of your PC and laptop problem. So this is my Windows 11 desktop and on the task manager in the performance section, you can find in the CPU, it's Intel Core i5 with the 8GB of RAM. Now exactly what you have to look here, the utilization. You can see that it has reached around 100%. Now it's 97, 95, then it's reducing, fluctuating, but it's really going beyond the 90%. And what will happen once it goes beyond the 90%, the computer will start lagging and even get freezing. And below you can see the process count. It's around 192. The threads are around 2429. And the handle count is above 90,000. That's really huge. And I'm not using any kind of application in the background. Still, it's occupying a lot of utilization. Same with the memory usage. It's around 70-65%. And that is also really high. And this is exactly what we will be optimizing. And after optimization, you will find a great change. Alright, so first you have to right click on the Windows icon. And from the suggestion, you need to click on settings. Then from the left hand menu option, you will have to click on Windows update. And here you have to assure that if there is any kind of update available, any kind of feature, any kind of security update or any kind of driver update, then you have to go ahead and update it. Now, why I'm recommending you because many time I have seen just because of outdated windows or outdated driver, there was a high fluctuation and high CPU and the RAM usage. So kindly go ahead, update your drivers, update your windows. And once you are done from the left in menu option only, you have to click on privacy and security. And here in the windows permission, we have to disable all the unwanted permission. We are running in the background. We really don't need them. First, you have to click on the general section. And here you have to disable all the general permission. Then go back. Do the same with the speech. Disable it. Inking and typing personalization. Disable it. Diagnostic feedback. Disable it. And once you are done with the general permission, now you have to scroll down to the app permission. Now it will list you all kind of application and majority of them you are not probably using it, but it's still they are running in the background and occupying a lot of resources. So what you need to do, whichever application you don't use, kindly go ahead and disable the permission for that. For example, if you are not using the location, open it and disable it from here. Then go back, do the same with the other application like voice activation camera or mic i'm not using the camera on my pc so i will go ahead and disable it then go back again then click on notification i don't want any kind of notification so i will disable it again go back and then you have to look for the contacts i don't need any kind of contact on my uh, this pc so i will disable it similarly look for all the application here whichever you are not using and you don't need it go ahead and disable the permission for that and once you are done now in the settings only from the left in menu option you will have to click on gaming click on game bar and disable the game bar as it will be occupying the lot of resources so go ahead and disable it then go back click on game mode and enable it especially if you are doing any kind of gaming and then from the left in menu option only click on personalization then you have to look for colors Click on it and in the color you will find the transparency effect. Now disable this option because we don't need any kind of effect. We need the best performance. So go ahead and disable it. And now we are all done from the settings. Now you can close it. And now next we will be disabling the startup application. So for that right click on the windows icon again. Then from the suggestion click on task manager. In the task manager from the left in menu option click on the startup apps. And here it will list you all kind of third party application along with the status whether it's been disabled or enabled so on my end you can see i have a lot of application like utorrent steam 
uh, Microsoft Edge, Proton VPN. I really don't want them that they should come along with my Windows 11 because that will basically slow down the booting time. And once the computer will be started, they will be running in the background and occupy a lot of resources, even if I'm not using them. Okay, so what you have to do, right click on these application and just click on disable. Look for other application. On your end, it can be like Steam, Discord, any kind of browser, any kind of third party application. So look for all of them, go ahead and disable them. All right, so once you are done from here, now you also need to disable many kind of unwanted animation. So for that, click on your Windows search, type sysdm.cpl. Just hit the enter key and this will bring up the system properties box. Now here from the top menu option, you have to click on advanced. Then below the performance, you will find the setting, click on it. And by default, this will be selected to let Windows choose what best for my computer. And this will be enabling all kind of animation that you can see. All the animation almost are being checked. Now we don't need all these animation. So we will be selecting the third option that says adjust for best performance. And then we have to only enable few of them like animate windows when minimizing and maximizing. Then below you will find show thumbnail instead of icon and a smooth edges of a screen font. That's it. Now click on apply and click on OK. And then here from the top menu option, you will find the remote option. Click on remote. And if you don't need any kind of remote assistant services, then you can go ahead and uncheck this option. So I will uncheck this allow remote assistance connection on this computer. Then I have to click on apply and then click on OK. And now in the next step, we will be uninstalling all kind of unwanted application from our computer and we will be debloating many kind of bloatware. Okay, so if I click on my Windows icon, so you can see by default it comes with a lot of bloatware like Solitaire, Xbox, Clipchamp, Microsoft To Do, many other kind of application. I really don't need them. So what I will do, I will click on all app and this will list you all kind of application, all kind of bloatware. So right click on any of the application that you don't need, then click on uninstall and then now it will take you to the settings. Now here you can look for each and every application, any kind of third party application that you're not using, any application that you don't identify or any kind of bloatware that you really don't need on your Windows 11. The first will be uTorrent. I don't need any more, so I will just right click and uninstall it. Cortana, I really don't need it, so I will click on the three dot and click uninstall. Then I have many more like Epic Game Launcher, I don't need it, so I will uninstall it. Then I have Feedback Hub, so just look for all these applications like Clipchamp, Microsoft Edge or any other bloatware like Microsoft To Do. Just go ahead and uninstall all of these bloatware and application from the computer. So just take your time, look for each and every application, go ahead and uninstall them. And once you are done, now next we are remaining with the final and the most important step where we have to disable many kind of unwanted services which we don't need or we are not using. So click on your Windows search, type services, click on services or hit the enter key and this will bring up the services box. Now here there are many kind of application, many kind of services that majority of the people they are not using they don't need it but still they are running in the background so what we need to do we have to disable all those services which are not of our use and after that we will find a great change i've already created a video on this topic that what all services you can disable if you want to check that video you can check it out i will be giving you some example here that you have to disable and here on the very top you will find activex installer and if you're not using the Internet Explorer browser on your computer, then you really don't need it. So what you can do to disable any services, just make a double click on it. And if you want to read about it, then you can read from the description. Then you have to click on the startup type drop down and choose it to disable and make sure the service has been stormed. Then you have to click on apply and click on OK. Now next you have to come to the B section and you will find the BitLocker drive encryption. Again, if you're not using the BitLocker to encrypt your drive, then from the startup type, you have to select to disable and make sure the status is being set to stop. If not, then you have to click on stop, click on apply, click on OK. Then you will find the Bluetooth. If you're not using the Bluetooth, you can do the same with these Bluetooth services as well. I'm using Bluetooth, so I will just skip it. And then you have to look for the connected user experience and the telemetry. 
this is another application that send many kind of database information so what you have to do open this and from the startup type click on the drop down and choose it to disable click on stop click on apply and click on ok and then we have the crypto graphic service now if you're not using any kind of crypto graphic services if you don't have any kind of work related to that then again you can double click on it and choose it to disable click on stop click on apply and click on ok and so on you can scroll down and there is another service by the name geolocation and if you don't need any kind of geolocation services then you again you can disable it stop it click on apply and click on ok then you'll find the hyper-v services and in case if you are not using the hyper-v virtualization or the virtual machine then you can also disable the hyper-v services then you have the ip helper and if you're not using any kind of online game that need the ip version 6 then you can go ahead and disable it but if you're using any kind of online game regularly then you can leave it and again depending on your use you can also look for the print and the fax service if you're not using the print or printing then you can go ahead and disable the print spooler service as well same you can do with the fax and then scroll down and you will also find the remote desktop service as I said in the beginning that if you don't need the remote desktop services then you can also disable it or else in order to disable more of the services that are really not required you can check my video where you will find all the services that you can disable all right so once you're done additionally I would also recommend you that kindly have a proper power plan on your computer depending you are using a laptop or a PC so for that you have to click on your windows search type power cfg dot cpl again hit the enter key and this will show you the power option with all kind of preferred power plan now by default it will be selected to balanced and if you are on a laptop and you are more concerned about your battery backup then you can go and select the power saver or keep it to balanced only but if you need the best performance like i'm on a pc and i don't care about the power saving so i will go with the high performance so what you can do you can click on show additional plan and from here you can select high performance all right so that's it now once you are done you have to go ahead and restart the computer so let me quickly go ahead and restart it and once the computer get restarted this time if i bring up the task manager by right clicking on the windows icon task manager and if i go to the performance tab bingo so now you can see there is a huge difference the utilization that was around 90 percent now it has been come to 24 23 percent the process count that was around 190 it has been reduced to 125 the thread that was around 2500 is around 2000 the handle count that was around 90,000 now it came to around 50,000 so that's a really a huge difference and we did not use any kind of third party tool or any kind of software even if you look on the memory usage that was around 65 to 70 percent now it has been reduced to 38 percent so this is the best optimization guys that really work and you can try you can apply on your own computer without any kind of tool without any kind of risk and safely you would be able to enjoy the best performance and that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video Bye bye